Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and it's finally a nice temperature and I have leftover ring pour cups and a dustpan and a shovel and so what I'm thinking is that it would be cool to put paint into my dustpan and I'm going to start with some Anita's white metallic and then, what am I going to do? Then I'm going to use some Prussian blue because I know that it sells and I'm going to use some enamel, pink enamel, because it sells too. I kind of want that to be a little more level, but... And I'm just going to keep using the colors that I love. I'm a little nervous about this iridescent blue from Modern Masters, so I'm going to use this other blue that I have had hanging around. I haven't used much red today. I definitely love this magenta. I hope at some point in time this begins to look attractive because <laughs> so far I'm not too impressed. But I am going to shovel. I'm going to throw a little bit of green in there. Whoops. It'd be good if I shook that first. I have found that a little bit of flow troll never, never really hurts anything much. I'm going to throw some turquoise with that, make sure I'm right. It's looking a little better. I don't need a whole lot of purple because I've got purple in my dish and I'm going to add it right on top of things. What else? What else? What else? I know it's something else. Oh, probably the orange. Yep. For some reason that Velveeta color just cheers me up endlessly. So what I'm thinking is that I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to grab a Princeton Archel Catalyst spatula available on my Amazon link underneath Show More along with the along with the OXO Omelet Turning Spatula, which I used earlier to prime the canvas that I'll show you in a second, which is only a 10 by 20. I do want all my paint. There's probably some black enamel in there. This is a, there's a good chance this might be my last painting of the day. I kind of wish at the moment that I had put this into a, uh, a regular pan. And that's too brown, so I'm happy to be done with that. I'm going to wipe off my spatula because I might want that in a minute. I'm going to do something I don't always do. I'm going to throw some yellow in there just to zhuzh it up. And I wanted some of this green gold. Part of my reason for trying the dustpan is because I can scoop out of a regular dish any kind of refuse. Where's something right here? And I might do that. I think I'm going to transfer some of this paint. And now you can see why I would do that. Because I get tremendous stripes. So I'm going to need to use my shovel. And this is the first time I've done... Whoa, I'm dripping. I don't want to drip. Those are beautiful colors. Don't drip please. <laughs> so, I'm going to try and make some room. I keep putting stuff down in my way. I really don't have as much room as you'd hope. And this is my double primed. Being 80 degrees out has its benefits. This is my double primed 10 by 10. And I'm going to grab a shovel full of what I just put in this container. Because I can. I want it to all come out at once. And I want to experiment with shapes. So you can see I was waiting for all that paint to fall down. And I'll probably get drips. And I may have more paint than I need, or I may not. But I need to be able to get my bottle out of the way so I can swivel my turntable. And what else do I want? I want some other paint from this container. Not only that, I want more of that orange. And that's that enamel. I think I also want to give myself 
some of the blue that I... Oh, that wasn't it. Okay, but I got it. So if I let a big enough puddle build up, I can sort of lead it down the side and then it'll go a good distance. I sort of want to tip some of that. I can always drag a basing brush or something through. But if I tip away the big puddles, then I have a much better chance of keeping the ones like over here. They were much thinner. I have no idea what this is going to look like, but hopefully I have the wherewithal to stop in time this time. That is a huge lump of something, and I found it. Cool. All right, so I don't really want to get rid of all this. But there isn't that much usefulness in here anymore, so I'm going to do it. Get it, put it in the bucket. I kind of want to put some white pearl in here. And some more yellow. There's beautiful colors in there. Oh, come out. Beautiful, beautiful colors in there. But I can't seem to get them all. And I just tried to stir them up. Alright, come on. I don't know. Sometimes I just don't have a clue where to start. But I always like the shapes that I get. So this is may maybe going to be just about the negative space. I can always take a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula as long as it's not completely covered with paint. I don't mind letting something drip down my edge. To add something, add another element to the edge. I want magenta. And I don't recall, there it is. Cool. So I'm just going to put some of that in there. Just going for negative space shapes. I'm okay with dribbling down the side of the canvas because that'll give some continuity to that. I think I'm actually going to go out of my way to rest my shovel against the edge and then let it float some paint down also. So I like most of that. I kind of want some magenta at the tip of this. So And I like this here. Sort of reminds me of a little yin yang. I really want some more orange, but I've got some great cells in here. I'm just going to grab those cells. Am I? Yes, I am. So I'm almost done, ha! Huh? Because it doesn't take long with beautiful colors and interesting patterns. And this is kind of cool. I'm not minding it. I've got a little bit of paint left for sure. I kind of want to dump that right over. And if I'm lucky, I'll dump it right back into my shovel below me. I think I'm just going to dip a finger into the edge so it is inclined to drip down. So what else do I need here? Not a whole lot. I don't have a lot of gold. I do have the blunt end of a skewer. And I could add dots if I'm not super positive about what I've got. Because I always did like dots. I 
and I am, I'm just adding a little bit of texture. I might want to just let those meld together, actually. Not so sure about that little spiral I added. I wasn't expecting that little yellow dot. So it's interesting. And I think I can use, because I've got GAC 800, whoops, that was a lot of paint. I'm just going to keep using my paint. and add it to the canvas as best I can in dot form and we'll get what we get and I bet it'll be okay I got a few I wasn't expecting to they may not all be round either it does make me want to throw some the pan is prettier than the painting darn I did mention that I use GAC 800 by Golden, and that helps with any potential cracking. I don't get it. I did just dump a shovel full right down the edge of that canvas, so, so the edge is covered in at least one section, which is fine. I'm wondering if I want to take some gold, and I kind of do. try and look around and make sure I'm getting exactly what I want where I want it. The turquoise is, is something that makes me happy also. If the tips are not as open as they are sometimes that's great because then I have a lot more control over what's coming out. The enamels are making some beautiful cells. The only other color that I really adore, that I might want in there, is the Purple Flash from Folk Art. You better be quick though. You'll wind up getting all kinds of stuff you don't necessarily want. Although I like the idea of the pearl also. I'm getting pretty close to done and I realize that I have this blue that I can't usually use when when there's wet paint because it goes away but it's it's really great on a dry canvas and it's gorgeous so this is not meant to be anything except for patterns and they're cool patterns I could put this in a little container so I wouldn't be taking as much of a chance on having it drip I'm in contemplation of orange but I really want to be careful about how much I use so I'm going to try a little bit with the uh, with the flat end of my skewer. I think that's going to be nice. Just a little here and there. I like it. Just a little here and there. I love the, the, the flat end of the skewer as a tool. I really want to take some more of this paint and do the same thing with it. Oh, my gold is bleeding. Okay, well, <laughs> such is life. It's like the blue did the same thing really shouldn't but it did but it's accidental art so you're bound to have some accidents 
I think anyway, and do regularly. So I love you guys, and I have no idea how many subscribers I have. I'm working on getting a thousand, but it's pretty slow going. If this is my new channel. So I appreciate it every time you share a video or uh, share an artwork. And if you guys want to visit visit us at uh, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group on Facebook. And uh, join up. That would be great. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I've got just enough paint dripping down just the right way to think that I'm going to get away with this. But I want a little pearl. I almost never put in pearl. And I don't know why that is. It doesn't really make any sense. Now start where you want your large, yeah, now that's perfect, ha. Where you want your largest dot, that's where you start. I think that white is just exactly what I wanted. No idea why I haven't done more of that in the past. I should still use a torch and I'm going to run out of time in a second. Yeah, I told you so. So I've got two minutes to s tell you guys that I do sell my artwork. And uh, after the pandemic is over and we can all go where we want again, I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill and I'd be happy to entertain you. I sell clothing and other household goods on my Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Priscilla Bat sells uh, YouTube channel, Teespring is under the video and it has all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts and you might help me keep some kind of income thing for <laughs> art supplies to keep me making videos if you're a fan. Um, I won't say what else is going on over there but you might want to check the end screens just in case there's some information. There's an exhibition video there. I'm having too much fun adding dots and I'm really happy with my dots and uh, this does not have to make sense. But I think I want a little bit more of the lighter orange. Come on out. Yes, I got a little. Dots and shovel, shovel and dots. Please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I appreciate your comments like you wouldn't believe. You keep my morale boosted. I'm throwing a few dots right down the edge. And if there isn't too much paint, I might get lucky and they might not drip. And if they do, I'm just going to deal with it. When, when you're gone, I'm going to continue on and take the paint that's in my dustpan and try and make some of it go on the edges of the canvas. In the meantime, I'm going to torch to release the bubbles in the paint. I'm going to tell you guys under my videos, you will find the Amazon link where you can shop at no added cost to you and it helps me out. You can find the OXO omelet turning spatula there and the other spatulas and lots of other great stuff. Also, my paint growing recipe, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. I'm not sure what to do about those gold things bleeding all over the place like that other than to add a little more so that it makes a more cohesive mark yeah I think that's the ticket alright I love you guys hang in there keep uh, keep watching and look for the community board tomorrow on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Priscilla Batzel for whatever videos might be coming up on both channels. I'll live. <laughs> the gold's a little strange. This might not look identical, 